All right, welcome to this video on the new and improved calculated metrics. This video will focus on the metric selector. So here I'm in a report and I want to add to this report uh, maybe a couple more metrics. And, and these might be calculated metrics or just normal metrics. Uh, right now I have page views. And so how can I add additional metrics to this report? Well, I have a couple of options here. I can click on the show metrics and you'll see what appears here is the metric selector. And so I can access it that way, but let's pretend I didn't do that. I can also, if I want, click on show metrics and that'll also generate the metric selector. So you have a couple of options there. Once we're in the metric selector, I have a number of features here that I'll walk through. So the first thing is maybe I know exactly which metric I wanna add. And so it's visits and so I can, can add that to the report. You'll see that that populates into the selected metrics list here. I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and so I can do search. Uh, I can also, the, the, the list of, uh, or the, um, the metrics that I can select from can be controlled by this sort option here. So right now it's on the default, which is recommended. And that's basically using some intelligence on the back end to look at what users across your uh, organization are using, what kinds of metrics are they using when it comes to this report and basically um, provides an intelligent way of suggesting um, the right metrics to you. I also have an alphabetical sort. Um, you can also uh, do frequently used or, or recently used. So let's just leave it with the default there of recommended. Now the next option here is right now I'm in the we.finance report suite. And so right now all I'm seeing are, are metrics that are associated with we.finance, but if I had this in a company login and I wanted to see more metrics that maybe exist in other report suites or at the global level, I can pull those in and, and look at those. But for now, we'll just limit it to just the we.finance. Um, I also have this option here, events selection. And so if I had tags associated with my metrics, I could search for tags and, and identify those uh, metrics more quickly. I could look at different report suites. I could look at the different owners. Right now it's just me. Um, and then other filters. Um, and so I can, again, search here and, and apply those metrics to my, my list here. Um, another thing to point out is, you know, I'm looking at this average page use per visit. And I'm like, I wonder how that's calculated. And so I can click on the I here. And that basically gives me two things. It actually gives me three things. First, it gives me a little formula here of how it's calculated. It also gives me a kind of a preview trend of, of the metric. And then up here in the top right corner, you see an edit icon. And so if I were to wanted to go into the, to create a metric and go into the uh, metric builder, which I'll do in a separate video, um, that's where I would click to go there. So for now, I'm just gonna add that to the report and then apply it to the report. So what's happening is the report is now being populated and I see the metrics that I selected. Now, what if I wanted to change the order of them? So let's go here, show the metrics again. So if I wanted to say have average page use per visit on the far left side of this, this column here, um, then I could just, I just dragged it to the top, applied it, and voila, I have my three metrics in the order that I want. All right, so that's the end of this video. In the next video, I'll get into the metrics builder. Thank you.